Good morning. I wanted to share my my story of how Cap changed this whole dynamic in my life. So since last two couple of years or last year, I've been going to this acting class. So in the acting class, I remember when the teacher asked us, "Why are you here? What do you what do you like about this? What what's motivating you to be here?" And for me, it was like I knew as a human there are all these layers and dimensionalities to being a human being being a lover being angry being joyous being like all these roles that that, that are in your subconscious all these archetypes that are there and i was like for me acting is like a lab laboratory it's like a place a safe a safe place and time where you can you can explore those dimensions of who can I be as a human being to tap into that and to to express that to feel alive I wanted to feel alive because in my life before I was very introverted and I didn't know how to be myself I didn't know how to express myself I didn't know how to uh, how to be spontaneous or how to be extravagant or how to be funny or how to be adventurous and I would see movies I would see movies on the screen and I would have this sense like whoa like that's possible because my life was so limited to my own experience and it was so let's say boring and I was very sad and then when I saw movies I saw people have adventures I saw them fall in love I saw them like I all have all these different kind of complex uh, life experiences and I saw them live I saw them go through things and I yearned for that I thought wow I want to do that I want to I want to live through things so I thought maybe in acting I would, I would learn how to do that or maybe as an actor I can I can I can be in a position where I can do that but as I learn more and more about the process of acting I realize the process of acting is different than what you see you see the result, you see human beings expressing themselves in a very heightened way, in a very specific way. But the process is all about inner investigation, digging, um, making almost like a score, a musical score, and then playing it out. Like It's like a, a musician playing his instrument. And everybody has their own reasons for this, right? Everybody has their own unconscious or deep reason for doing what they're doing and acting. And so that was mine. Uh, and, and I remember I really felt like uh, so exhilarated, like, wow, like crying on the scene and being able to, to, to it was like a, a thrill for me, a kick. There was still this, like this, this resistance because I saw people who were watching me go through these kind of experiences. So it was allowing myself to be all that I can be in a certain role and allowing others to see that. It was very, uh, like psychologically, very, very he healthy or very um, deep, a deep process where I could develop, develop and expose myself, be myself and, and get accustomed to that. Now, I thought like, okay, so I have all these dimensions in myself and through acting, I'm going to, to, let's say, to see everything what I can get there, to go as deep as I can and explore my dimensionality, to develop psychologically, to develop as a wholeness, as a whole system, right? And there are teachers who say you can, through acting, you know, heal things or because you relive past memories or you get a certain strength because when you have emotions and then you learn to handle those emotions, relate to those emotions and express them, it's different than when you suppress it, when you suppress them. In acting, you have a space where you can learn to express the emotions, to give life to them. Also, there's like this thing that's called um, sense memory. So you can recall past memories from your childhood, from trauma, from whatever, to experience something now happening, and um, yeah, and, and 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 then use that emotion of that event to to be in a certain mood, and create a certain kind of atmosphere in a scene. So this was my this was the way I was going about it, and then something happened. So.
I was doing more and more cap. And the more cap that I was doing, the more alive that I felt because in cap, you get this surge of life energy force. You are activated, your life energy is activated and you feel alive, you feel so alive, like you never felt before. You feel very um, heightened, full of, full of life. And you feel very in tune with who you are and what you want and what you are, let's say, you're, you're aware of the energy streams in you and you're authentically expressing who you are in a very flowy way. So compared to that, acting was like, you know, you go to acting class, you play around, you, you interact with people, it's fun and games, it's, it's very joyous. But there's also like this feeling of like, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, because you have to sometimes dig very deep because it's work and you're realizing like, oh, this is, this is kind of hard. Right? This is this is like exhausting in a way, mentally or emotionally. It's very exhausting because you have to conjure up. You have to, and then there's also the teacher who's always uh, going about, yeah, you have to um, play to the audience. You have to make the message relatable to the audience. You have to think about the audience. You have to think about the structures. You have to think about all these kind of things. So it's very fixed, very technical. Mm. And what I really loved was improvisation. Improvisation, play, just free flow. So the more cab that I did, the less and less and less desire that I, that, I, that, that I had to go to acting class. Because all of a sudden, it's like I was in this high vibration. I remember it so well. I was sitting in a class, I was looking at everybody, and I felt so peaceful, so complete, so like radiating with energy. And I was looking at everybody and I saw like people were coming from their work, people were coming from their studies, whatever. It was like, like an, a hobby, an after school thing for them. And they were sitting there and everybody was there to just, you know, either relax, focus on something else, forget about their, their lives, just, just, you know, play, just explore. Just some people were like, I want to be an actor. I, I love to, to do things and make people people feel feel things. I love it when people like can see my scene or my monologue or whatever, and then they feel things. I love that. Mm. Some just want specific roles. Some just like playing. Some started when they were small, so it's like it's like a lifestyle. They like it. It's like a thing they do. Uh, different ways. But I noticed the moment that we had to do a scene. All of a sudden, like because of, of camp, there was like this sense of peace in my heart, this sense of quietness, this sense of everything is just perfect the way it is. And so the scene was a man and a woman who had an affair, a meet up after some years, and they, they, they want to either get together again or they want to talk, they want to see what's happening. And so we're reading the scene and the teacher, she's talking about how in the scene you have like these conflicts. So you have a desire, uh, the person wants to get together with the person, with the other person, but the conflict is he's afraid um, to, 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 for her to run away. So he, he's taking it very slowly. She, she just wants to see uh, what it all meant. She wants to look at the past. She doesn't want anything new with him. And her conflict is she she doesn't want to get attached. She doesn't want to start anything. So you have to play like these these inner struggles, inner conflicts. And so the moment we had to do the scene, I noticed like, wow, I'm at peace. I'm at Zen. And now all of a sudden, like, I don't know why, like there's no reason for it that I'm now going to read this text and I feel in myself how I need to create the illusion of, okay, I am this guy, I want this, but but I'm afraid that that, that she might run away. And I, so I, I have to create this inner tension that's struggling me and I feel in myself my energy shifting and it feels uncomfortable. It feels, it feels like contracted. And I'm doing this scene and I'm realizing I'm not enjoying myself. I'm not enjoying this process anymore. I'm not enjoying living through acting. 
And I realized, whoa, all those times I wanted to live to feel alive through acting because I didn't feel alive in my life. And now it feels like, why am I torturing myself or putting myself in these inner struggles just to do some scene? Why would I do that? Do I want to be an actor? Not really. Like, sure, it could be nice. It could be nice to, 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 to have some projects, but like, do I really desire that? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. It just now, like thinking about it, I feel like it's closed. I feel like it's done. Like that part of my life, it's over. I don't, I don't need, I don't feel the need that I, to, to go to this, uh, to, um, to acting class anymore. Because there's nothing I want to get out of there anymore. Because I don't need that, those conditions or that, those parameters or that situation, those circumstances to feel alive. Because I am alive. My life's here. My life is happening every day, every time, like all the time. So, because now, I'm aware that life is here. Life is not somewhere out there in some situation. Life here has its own movements and desires. And this life here, I just have to be aware of it. And I have to allow life to flow. And if it wants to do acting class, do acting class. But if it was something else, it's, it, it's like, allow that moment. Trust the energy. Trust the movement of the energy. Because... In acting, I was seeking something there. I wasn't doing it for the joy of acting. I was doing it for fulfillment of my own uh, grandiosity or my own, not grandiosity, but my own, um, my own, like feeling my humanity, feeling what I can be, feeling what, it, what it's like to be, to be, to be. But it's all in a way manipulation, right? Because, in a sense, I am here and now. And why would I go from here and now to create something, to live something out, right? And it's all illusion. Like, sure, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. And um, in a group setting, it's very fun. You get to know people and uh, it's enjoyable. But somehow, yeah, like, it shifts. The orientation shifts you realize the well has dried up. The, the fire that was there for it, it's dried up. There's, there's nothing to get there, nothing to get there. It's just experiences. I've had so many experiences. And yeah, that, that was the journey uh, for me. So I'm really, I'm really, in a way I'm really kind of glad, but I'm also like amazed by, by how CAP changed that for me. Like, it, it, it was unnoticeable. Like, I didn't notice it. It's only after doing camp for a while and going to acting class that I started to notice it more and more and more. Just sitting there in the room and feeling like somehow, somehow I don't feel like I'm, I'm in the right place. I don't feel like I'm in the right movie or in the right story. It feels like I'm here, but I don't have anything to seek here. There's nothing here that I want to to do or be. Because I see everybody's trying, everybody's like enjoying themselves and doing that. And what I really enjoy is, is processes of transformation, real life transformations, growth, depth, um, inner development, um, energy work, love, sharing love, um, breaking down boundaries, and sure, in acting, you can have all those things because if you want to be a great actor, you have to let go of, of certain, certain, let's say, certain fears, certain barriers um, to, to allow your expression to be full. But still, yeah, it's, it's amazing how it changed.